Hey there, welcome. In this video, we will look at recording a meeting in Microsoft Teams. This is useful for participants who require a copy for reference or for participants that were not able to make it to the session. We will look at the options available to the organizer, presenter, and external guest. We will also show what you can and cannot do and suggest some workarounds. So stick around. First, we will join a Teams meeting as an organizer using the Teams desktop application on a Windows 10 machine. The meeting invite can be created using the Teams calendar or Outlook calendar. If you'd like to know how to create a meeting, please visit my earlier video. Links in description. I will then load my PowerPoint file and get a couple of participants to join in. On the control taskbar, if I select show participants, I can see the list of participants who have joined this session. Clark Dent is an internal user from within the same organization. Harvey Kent is an external guest user who's joined in via a web browser. On the control taskbar, click on the three dots and the organizer gets to see an option to record a meeting. This captures audio, video and screen sharing activity. The recording happens in the cloud and is saved to Microsoft Streams. It is recommended to inform participants prior to the meeting that the meeting will be recorded. Let us see what options are available to members within the same organization. In my example, Clark Dent is a member within the same organization. If I click on the three dots within the control taskbar, I can see that Clark Dent has the start recording option. Let's go back to the organizer view. Click on the three dots next to the participant's name, in this case, Clark Dent, and make that participant an attendee. Now let's have a look at Clark Dent's permissions. Now, if you click on the three dots, I can see that Clark Dent no longer has the option to record a Teams meeting. Let's go back to the organizer view. And you can see that you can see that Clark Dent is an attendee, and that's why the user does not have the recording option. Let's click on the three dots and make the user a presenter. The user now gets a notification saying you are a presenter. You can share content and facilitate the meeting. Let's click on the three dots on the control taskbar again, and you can see start recording option is available. Now let's have a look at the external guest view. In my case, Harvey Kent is the external guest was joined in using a web browser. On the control taskbar, click on the three dots and you can see that the start recording option is grayed out. External guest users do not have the option to record a Teams meeting. Now, from an organizer view, if I click on the participant Harvey Kent and click on the three dots, I can make this participant an attendee and say change. And if I look at the guest view, and click on the three dots, nothing changes. Again, let's go back to the organizer view and click on my external guest, in this case, Harvey Kent, and make that user a presenter and say change. The external guest now gets notifications saying that you are a presenter and the start recording option is grayed out. Let us go back to the organizer view, go to the control taskbar, Click on the three dots and start a recording. This icon says the recording has started. The organizer gets a notification that the recording is in progress. Internal members also get the same notification that the recording is in progress. External guests on web browsers also get the same notification that a meeting is in progress. Again, it is recommended to inform participants prior to the meeting that the meeting will be recorded. Once the recording has commenced, External guests don't have the option to stop recording. Internal members who have presenter rights have the option to stop the recording. And the organizer also has the option to stop the recording. Chats, shared notes, and whiteboards are not captured in the recording.
as you can see you get a notification stating that whiteboard will not be recorded support for recording whiteboard is coming soon let us stop the recording by clicking on the three dots on the control taskbar and clicking on stop recording click on stop recording again it can take some time for the recording to be processed and displayed in the chats area the recording happens in the cloud and is saved to Microsoft Stream cloud storage. The recording continues even if your computer crashes, unlike on Skype for Business or Link where the recording happened on the local device. After a while, the meeting recording is populated in the meeting chat area. This meeting notification is visible to all participants, however, not everyone can view the video. Only members of the same organization can view the video, and the video can only be shared across your organization. The video cannot be shared with external participants yet. As you can see over here, Clark Dent, the internal user within the same organization, gets the notification of the meeting recording. And Harvey Kent, Who's an external guest user and has joined using a web browser gets the notification as well. Let us go back to the organizer view and view the meeting recording. As you can see, it's loading in Microsoft Stream. As you can see, it did not it did not record the whiteboard session nor the chats. Let's have a look at our internal user and the internal user can also view the same video. When we look at our user Harvey Kent, who is a guest external user, is joined by a web browser. The video tries to load but gets a notification saying to see this content sign in. New to Microsoft Stream. Sign up. So it does not load for them. If the organizer goes to Microsoft Stream, they can access the video. To download the video, click on the three dots and select download video. Once the video is downloaded, you can decide to share it using SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, YouTube, Vimeo, whichever way you feel fit. Click on the three dots and go to update video details. Over here you can see the details of the video and permissions. If you want this video to be available to everybody in your organization, check this box. If you want it to be accessible to selected people and make them an owner of that video, then you can check those individual users. Note that if that user deletes that video, it gets deleted for everybody. The experience is the same whether you create the meeting using Outlook, or the Teams calendar, or even associated with the Teams standard channel. However, on a private channel, on the Teams private channel, the experience is different. We will look at that now. Creation of a meeting within a private channel is not possible via the Teams calendar or Outlook. Reason being, you do not get to see the private channel in the Add Channel section. In my example, I've got my channel, Technology 101. I've got two standard channels and one private channel. The private channel is shown by this padlock and that does not show up in the Teams calendar area. I now have all my participants who have joined this meeting as an organizer. If I go to the control taskbar and click on the three dots, I do not see the option to start a recording. So you are not able to record a meeting in a private channel. So what do you do? You can use other screen recording applications such as Camtasia Studio or OBS Studio which is free. Again, some editing work is required. You can also use stream to record the screen. However, there are some time limitations.
Okay, so in stream you can record your entire screen, an application window, or a Chrome tab. If I select screen one, click on share, there's a limitation of 15 minutes. If I select application window, and select teams, again there is a 15 minute limit. So while streams can record your screen, it only allows you to record for 15 minutes. Let us recap. Recording in Teams captures audio, video and screen sharing activity. The recording happens in the cloud and is saved to Microsoft Stream Cloud Storage. Recording continues even if your computer crashes. The user needs to have appropriate license and upload permission on Microsoft Stream. The created video can only be shared across your organization. No sharing of videos with external participants yet. Use other ways to securely share the video, such as SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, Vimeo, YouTube, etc. Whiteboards and shared notes are not captured in the recording. Record meetings and group calls only. There is no recording for one-on-one -on -one calls. Recording option is not available for anonymous, guest, or federated users, that is, any external users. Recording option is available on meetings created in Outlook and Teams calendars and Teams standard channels. Recording option is not available in Teams private channels. The workaround for this is host a Teams meeting in Outlook or Teams calendar or in a standard Teams channel. This way, you get the option to record. Use other screen recording applications to record meetings in private channels, such as Camtasia Studio or OBS Studio. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful, do like and subscribe. Stay safe and see you in the next video.